enforcement officers now are joining hands and saying it's time to end the, the war on drugs in order to restore peace and justice to our communities, to stop incarcerating people to the point that we can't afford schools, the problem with guns, gangs, crime, and to start saving our children. This is a perfect example of why law enforcement against prohibition as an organization of former police officials, criminal justice professionals, is so important to the contribution towards this, this caravan. I, I walked over to the two police cars across the street just a few moments ago, spoke to a young female police officer standing there with her partner. I told her a little bit about LEAP and I said, take a look at our website. Uh, I told her all the reasons that we oppose the prohibition of drugs and she smiled and she indicated to me that she completely understood and then she said, but I have a three-year-old at home. And what she was saying to me is that there's too much pressure inside the police department here in America, the land where we have First Amendment rights, on young police officers who completely understand the damages of this war on drugs but are afraid to speak out because they will be punished within their organization, they will be marginalized, and like the border, border patrol uh, officer that spoke out here about six months ago, they will be fired.